हेलो नमस्कार तो टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन ओके इन लास्ट लेक्चर इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एसोसिएटिविटी एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ओके तो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू अड आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नाउ लेट्स सी वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज द स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओके स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन और यू कैन से मल्टीप्लाइंग अ मैट्रिक्स बाय अ नंबर ओके तो मल्टीप्लाइंग अ मैट्रिक्स बाय अ नंबर मींस अ नंबर इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एवरी अदर एलिमेंट ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स ओके सो लेट्स लेट अस कंसीडर इफ वी हैव अ मैट्रिक्स ओके लेट्स अ टू बाई टू मैट्रिक्स टू थ्री वन टू ओके इट्स इट्स अ टू बाई टू मैट्रिक्स एंड वी हैव सब कॉन्स्टेंट लेट से टू ओके so multiplying this constant with this matrix means that every element of this matrix is multiplied by this constant okay that means that 2 is multiplied with every element of this matrix okay so 2 into 2 is 4 3 into 2 is 6 1 into 2 is 2 and 2 into 2 is 4 okay so this is what means by scalar multiplication okay scalar multiplication by c is multiplication by a scalar matrix ci where i n cross n denotes the n cross n identity matrix if you remember the identity matrix identity matrix is nothing but the matrix having diagonal element that is 1 and other elements are zero okay so multiplying by c means we are multiplying with the uh, ci okay so if we are multiplying with a uh, 2 cross 2 matrix so C is basically two into one zero zero. We are multiplying this thing, okay, with this, okay. So uh, that's why we get everything, uh, every element multiplied by two, okay. Now let us see this thing, okay. So this is the property that is that's saying that I into A is basically equals to A. That is also equals to a into i. Okay, as you can see that i is n cross n matrix and a is n cross n matrix where n can be anything like two or three. So as number of columns is equal to number of rows. Okay, so resultant matrix will be n cross n. Okay, that is equal to a a matrix with n cross n order and same. Here number of columns is equal to number of rows, so resultant matrix will be the A of n into n. Okay, so this condition will be hold here. Okay, this condition. Same, ah, uh, I into n cross n, n cross n times A into n cross. okay so number of rows equal to number of column and a into i will be giving us a okay so the resultant matrix will be a of n cross k okay n cross okay as we have learned that uh, the, uh, the resultant matrix have this row and this column okay same here also a m cross n into i n cross n so n is this is equal to this okay so resultant matrix will be n to okay so remember this thing that a into i is a okay and same i into a is also a okay now one thing we have to focus that ab like ab that is a multiplied by by b is not always going to be b multiplied by okay so uh, it can be true in some cases but not this this condition not always followed okay not every time this condition holds there are in some cases it can be true but not every time okay assuming both make sense okay so this is all about a scalar multiplication now let's move toward a very new topic of a matrix that is the transpose of a matrix okay so before uh, getting a start with the transpose of the matrix let us talk about a uh, a term that is the conjugate entry conjugate entry okay 
वट इज द कंजुगेट एंट्री ओके सो लेट अस ड्रॉ ए मैट्रिक्स लेट अस टेक अ मैट्रिक्स सो दिस इज टू वन थ्री टू ओके दिस इज द टू क्रॉस टू मैट्रिक्स एंड लेट्स नॉट टेक इट दिस टू लेट्स टेक इज फोर ओके सो एज यू नो ए आई जे ओके सो ए आई जे वेयर आई कैन बी अप टू वन टू एंड जे कैन बी अप टू वन एंड टू ओके सो द इफ ए ऑफ आई जे इज इक्वल टू ए ऑफ जे आई ओके वेयर आई इक्वल्स टू जे एंड जे इक्वल्स टू आई ओके सो एज वी हैव ए वन टू एंड ए टू वन ओके बेसिकली दिस थिंग इज नॉट ओके सो दीज दीज आर द कॉन्जुगेट एंट्रीज ओके दीज आर द कॉन्जुगेट एंट्रीज ए आई जे एंड ए जे आई ओके बोथ हर वट कॉन्जुगेट एंट्रीज ओके ओके सो नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट ट्रांसपोज ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स तो वट इज द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स ट्रांसपोज ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स इज बेसिकली इंटरचेंजिंग द रो एंड द कॉलम ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स ओके सो रो एंड द कॉलम ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स लेट्स एज वी हैव दिस मैट्रिक्स ए ए इज वट टू वन थ्री फोर ओके सो द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए इज डिनोटेड बाई ए की पावर टी ओके ए टू द पावर टी एंड दैट विल बी बेसिकली वॉट द रो बिकम कॉलम एंड कॉलम बिकम रो ओके सो टू वन विच इज द रो बिकम कॉलम एंड दिस इज बिकम ओके सो दिस इज वॉट द ट्रांसपोज रो बिकम कॉलम एंड कॉलम बिकम रो ओके सो दिस इज वॉट कॉल ट्रांसपोज ओके सेम वी कैन हैव डिफरेंट मैट्रिक्स बी दैट इज टू थ्री वन टू थ्री वन ओके दिस इज द टू क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स तो द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ बी बेसिकली द रो विल बी बिकम कॉलम एंड कॉलम विल बी बिकम रो ओके सो दिस विल बी टू वन थ्री थ्री टू वन एंड दिस विल इज ऑफ टू क्रॉस थ्री क्रॉस टू ऑर्डर ओके so this is the transpose okay this is the transpose same this is also the transpose okay and same we can take for 3 by 3 matrix that is uh, let's take a matrix c uh, 3 2 1 2 1 2 3 3 okay so c transpose will be the rows become column so this 3 2 1 10 Two, one, two, and then three, three. Okay, we write it row as the form column. Okay, so this will be here. Okay, so this is all about transpose of a matrix. Now let's move toward the properties of the matrix, the uh, transpose of the matrix. Okay, so basically, uh, there are several properties which we have to keep in mind. Okay, about the transpose. Okay, the first. first property is transpose of transpose of matrix what this means transpose of transpose of matrix that is a transpose is the transpose and transport transpose of this matrix okay transpose transpose of transpose matrix okay so this is transpose matrix and when we do transpose of this matrix we will get a okay so this is the property if uh, you can verify it okay when we do uh, transpose two types of a matrix a then we will get the same thing okay now addition property of the transpose okay so basically addition property says that a plus b of transpose is basically equal to a transpose plus b transpose okay a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose okay now we have one more uh, property that is multiplication by constant okay 
तो बेसिकली इफ ए मैट्रिक्स इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एनी कॉन्स्टेंट के एंड देन वी विल फाइंड द ट्रांसपोज देन दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ए टाइम्स दैट ट्रांसपोज ऑफ दैट ए मैट्रिक्स ओके तो ए इंटू ए का ट्रांसपोज इज इक्वल टू के टाइम्स ए ट्रांसपोज ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्रांसपोज ओके मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रांसपोज दिस दिस वॉज द मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाय कॉन्स्टेंट ओके एंड दिस इज द मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्रांसपोज इन दिस प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव ए इंटू बी का ट्रांसपोज ओके सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू बी ट्रांसपोज इंटू ए ट्रांसपोज ओके लुक एट दिस हेयर द दिस थिंग गेट रिवर्स्ड ओके ट्रांसपोज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू मैट्राइसिस इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोज ऑफ टू मैट्राइसिस इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर ओके यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट दिस इज विल बी इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर ओके दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए ट्रांसपोज इन टू बी ट्रांसपोज ओके दिस विल बी इक्वल टू बी ट्रांसपोज इन टू ए ट्रांसपोज ओके तो सो यू हैव टू कीप दिस थिंग इन माइंड दैट वेन वी हैव द प्रोडक्ट द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मेट्राइसिस देन वी विल गेट ट्रांसपोज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मेट्राइसिस इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर ओके ओके सो आई थिंक Till here, everything is clear about the transpose of the matrix. Now let's move toward our next topic, that is the system of linear equations. Okay, so let the let us understand the system of linear equations. Okay, so suppose the purchase of A, B, C are given in the table. Okay, so we have a table in which uh, there are three customers. Say buyer one, buyer A, buyer B, and buyer C, and these three customers purchase rice, dal, and oil. Okay. So suppose A paid nineteen hundred sixty, B paid twenty two hundred fifteen, and C paid eleven hundred thirty five. Okay. So after buying this, like buyer A bought eight eight kg of rice. Okay, eight kg of rice. Eight uh, kg of dal and eight uh, and four kg of oil. Okay, and he paid nineteen sixty rupees. Okay, same buyer B bought twelve kg of rice, five kg of dal and seven kg of oil and paid RS two two one five. Same buyer C paid RS one one three five. Okay. we want to find the price of each item using this data so we have this data we want to now find the price of each item okay suppose the uh, uh, like we have to find the price okay so that like we have we need uh, what is the cost of 1 kg of rice so that he bought 8 kg of rice okay same what is the cost of 1 kg of dal and same in What is the rate of one kg of oil? So that when this he bought this quantity, he paid this amount. He, when buyer B bought this quantity, he paid this amount, and buyer C bought these quantities and paid this amount. Okay. So now uh, let let the price of price of let price of rice be x. Okay, and dal. B, Y, and oil B. That okay. So we let that price of rice is X, price of dal is Y, and price of oil is Z. Okay. So if we uh, talk about buyer A, buyer A, so he bought eight kgs of rice. So eight, so amount he paid for rice is basically eight into. X as X is the uh, cost of one kg of rice. Okay, same. He bought eight kg of dal, which the cost of dal of one kg is Y rupees. And same, he bought four kg of oil, which cost Z for one kg. Okay, and he paid total bill 
that is 1960 okay so uh, x uh, for the cost of x rupees for a kg he bought 8 x okay dal he bought 8 y and for oil he bought 4 z and he paid total cost 1960 okay same uh, buyer b bought uh, 12 kg okay so here he bought 12 kg and 5y and 7z and he paid total 2215 okay same buyer c bought 3x 2y and 5z and total paid 1135 okay so now this representation is known as system of linear equation okay we got the equation equation is what so linear equation is when we talk about linear equation linear equation what basically this is a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus up to up to up to a n x n equals to something called p okay so this is what we know as the linear equation okay this is the linear equation okay this is the example of linear equation so we have represented the data in the form of system of linear equation now we will solve this equation by our traditional method by putting some values and we will get x equals to 45 y equals to 125 and z equals to 150 okay if you don't know how to solve this thing then don't worry we will learn this thing in uh, further lectures okay further upcoming lectures we will going to solve these kind of linear equations okay now uh, let us talk about what can be the solution of the linear system of equation okay system don't think about the system word okay this is the system means this soul is a system of linear equation okay as here invention system of linear equation so what will be the sol what can be the solution of linear equation so as we have already learned in 10th standard that uh, when we had a two two linear equations let's say x plus 2y equals to 3 and 2y plus 3x uh, 2y plus 3x equals to something let's say 7 we, we were solving uh, we were solving these equations using different different methods such as elimination method substitution method and all okay so what we get there that we had sometimes we get infinitely many solution okay sometimes we get a single unique solution and sometimes we get no solution okay and we also remember if we remember the graph okay if we remember the graph thing so when we have infinitely many solutions that means the graph lies on the same line okay so if we remember the graph lies on the same line okay, this same line okay then we had infinitely many solution okay what about the thing a unique solution when the graph intersects when the graph intersects then we get a unique solution here this was the unique solution and same we uh, how we get the no solution the no solution we, we get when the both the graphs were parallel to each other okay both the graph were parallel to each other that is parallel means the distance between both the lines which same at every place you also remember that for two by two uh, like for uh, two variables system of linear equation in two variable we had some uh, we were uh, uh, learned something like a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 okay this kind of things so in this case uh, the lines were intersecting okay and we get unique solution you remember uh, if uh, we get a1 by a2 uh, equals to b1 by b2 but not equals to b1 by b2 it means that lines are parallel parallel and we get no solution okay and same if we have a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to c1 by c2 that means that both are the equation of the same line okay and in that case we have infinitely many solution in finitely many solutions okay so 
so i think you all remember this thing okay so these were the techniques we used uh, till now for solving the linear equation in two variables okay now in whole syllabus which we are going to study we have we will have three variables okay we will have three variables and there are several methods to solve these equations okay this system of linear equation we are going to solve by different method as we have solved the linear of uh, the system of linear equation in two variable by using such uh, some methods like substitution method substitution method also remembered elimination method also we had cross multiplication method also we had graph method okay so all these methods we have learned in class 10 to solve the linear equation in two variables okay now we are going to solve linear equation in three, three variable and we have different kind of methods we will going to learn in the um, upcoming lectures okay after uh, this all thing done okay we have to discuss more important topics now so after all the topic done we will going to see how to solve these kind of equation okay thank you if you are watching till now then do like share and subscribe okay thank you